there. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about pelvic organ prolapse. Now this is something that you might have never heard of before or maybe you are too aware of it because you're dealing with it. Well guess what? Pelvic organ, organ prolapses are going to affect one in two women to some extent in their lifetime. So that's half of us. Um, if we've had a baby, likely we have a first degree prolapse um, and it can go uh, from there. So what the heck is a prolapse? Let me show you. So in the pelvis, it houses in here three major organs. It houses the bladder that's in the front by the pubic bone and then the uterus and then the rectum goes behind. So it's kind of like a game of Tetris. So with these organs, they are suspended by ligaments within the walls of the pelvis. So they are held up by ligaments. Um, it's not muscles that hold them up. So things that can strain them, that create downward pressure, can be um, being constipated for a long time, um, childbirth, um, having habits that we're not aware of, that we do things like kind of push down, um, that every time we get out of a chair, we kind of collapse down. And you might notice that like bellies kind of bulge out with some of the things we do. Or every time if we have a chronic cough, um, if we notice that our belly when we cough goes, <laughs> that's also a downward pressure on the pelvic floor. Um, either from trauma or just chronic strain over time, organs can start to shift down. Now that might sound very scary. It is terrifying to many, many people when it happens because we just don't know about it. But I wanna show you today a couple of things that we can do. So for those that have experienced a feeling of a feeling of pressure in their perineum, maybe it feels like a tampon's falling out, but there's not a tampon inserted. Um, you can also have issues like feeling like you can't completely empty your bladder very easily. You can also feel that you can't fully empty your bowels, um, things like that. Um, another sign would be if tampons or menstrual cups just seem to slide out, um, there might potentially be a pelvic organ prolapse. Now, this is all about gravity. So when it comes to gravity, um, the more that we are on our feet and standing or just sitting, especially kind of compressive, slouchy sitting, it's gonna just wear and tear or just pull down on those ligaments that hold the organs. Um, realize that maybe we have a person that has a prolapse where things are coming out all the way to the edge. Like if they looked down here, they could see something in the gap of the vaginal opening, but it's not going to stay there permanently. We can actually do things to help support. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you positions that you can do to give yourself immediate relief or reduction in your pressure symptoms. Um, this isn't a cure, but it's something that you can do to manage the pressure. Um, people that are going to feel an increase in pressure, it's going to happen usually in the afternoon to the evening hours after you've already been on your feet. So gravity has been working on us. So the two positions that I'm going to show today, you can either lay on the ground with a pillow and put your feet up on your couch or a chair or do legs up on the wall. So here I've got a pillow and I've got a chair. So I'm going to lay on it on my back. I don't want a pillow under my head because I want to feel that my hips are above my head. You can do even more pillows than this, but my legs are up on the chair. Um, and for a lot of us, we wanna make sure we're not holding on to tension in our inner thighs. So let your knees relax out to the side and you can do some belly breaths. So maybe put a timer for 10 minutes or five if that's all you've got and work on belly breathing and just relaxing, imagining things coming back up where they belong. Now, if one pillow again doesn't feel like enough, you can do more to get your hips even higher. I've even had a patient that um, laid upside down on her child's toddler slide. Um, and like whatever gets your hips up. Um, the other position you can do with your feet up on the wall, like this, and then work on your belly breath here. It can even be this position as well, or here. So hopefully 
that works for you. Um, I would start doing legs up on the wall, legs up on the couch every day, once a day, if you're noticing that pelvic organ pressure. There are so many variables and so many things that we can do that are not invasive that can help with our prolapse and managing them. That's what a pelvic PT does, and we are here to not tell you not to live your life, not to go for a run, but we're gonna help you do it in a way that doesn't hurt your body. Um, so if you have any questions, you can reach out to me um, and we can set up a virtual consult and work through it together.